Chris Saul, President Director of Soccer of IFK Maryland. Um, IFK Maryland is a professional soccer organization um, that runs in the Maryland area. We have a youth program that runs from U8 all the way to U19. Um, in the boys program, we just started up the girls program. And uh, we'll be making the announcement today that uh, IFK will officially have its professional, um, professional soccer rank. Okay. Um, now you say IFK, IFK, and I hear this a lot. Um, first off, what does I, IFK mean? And secondly, um, how did you, did you come up with that, um, that name? So I, IFK stands for International Football Club. Club, it's spelled with a K. It's, it's how it's spelled in Sweden. Um, we, that's where I originally uh, played professionally first. I played over there for three years. Um, and that's kind of been the feeder system, the part, well, how the partnership kind of started over there. Um, after playing professionally in Sweden, I came home, um, started training kids, um, developed the organization, and then I was able to, off my relationships that I had over there, um, feed that back into the club. So last summer we went to Sweden um, with the men's team and then with our U14 um, team that competed in the Umia Cup. And uh, we, you know, really good experience. We made a, made a lot of relationships over there, and we were able to, uh, you know, push the IFK into the uh, the new name of the organization. In Maryland, we went with Maryland just because Maryland's just a general area that we're trying to hit. Okay. Um, now, so I, as you said earlier, you are moving in um, from in the IFK Maryland team from the amateur ranks to the professional. Um, ranks and uh, I believe you're moving into the ASL. What, yeah, what is that? Moving into the uh, ASL, it's the uh, American Soccer League, uh, President uh, President Matt Driver. Um, the ASL is a professional league that is built to give players in you know the United States the opportunity to you know pursue the dream. Um, a lot of players, you know, they don't get into the MLS or you could even say the USL type uh, leagues, then, you know, they're kind of lost. And, uh, you know, so it's just that next step for the kids. And, and it, is a pro it is professional. Um, and so it's for us to get them diamonds in the roughs and, you know, or even the players who are really there. Um, the goal for us is just to build a program that really develops players and pushes them to the next level, whether that's with us or if we push them over to Sweden or to a team in the MLS area. Um, and that's really what the ASL is about, is uh, just giving the opportunity for players to continue their career and uh, push them to the next level. Okay, so would you say that that was what, that was the most uh, appealing part of uh, what you wanted? Yeah, yeah, I mean, big time. Um, as far as the ASL goes? Yeah, it, it's, it's huge. I was a player that, you know, coming out, you know, I, was, I played Division One ball. And, uh, you know, when coming out of college, you know, it was, there, was, there wasn't very much opportunity, especially for players in Maryland. Um, there were USL and PDL teams um, a little bit ago, but it's kind of the, the professional team just wasn't there unless you were making DC United. And uh, that's just, that's just you know, sometimes going to take time. Sometimes, you know, you, you just need to be placed in the right development to get you there. And that's really what um, we wanted to do is develop a, you know, a station in, you know, in Anne Arundel County, Baltimore County, the Baltimore City area where uh, players can pursue their development and uh, you know really take it to where where they want it to go. So generally where would you say your uh, your player pool comes from? Is it just Anne Arundel County or what is it? Well the great thing about the, us is like I said we have a youth organization that we run and that was the big thing starting out right away is you know if we were going to have a professional team we want to be a club that isn't just purchasing players. We want to develop the players that go into the academy. Now, as we start, we're going to have to bring more players from outside, absolutely. But as the club continues to grow, the goal is to push the players from the youth academy into the professional ranks. Um, the kids come from the Anne Arundel County area, Howard County, Baltimore County area is really the, the three general locations that we're, uh, we're hitting right now. Okay. Um... And how do you plan on integrating some of these youth players into the uh, quote-unquote first team, um, second team, uh, and the professional? Well, it's, it's already happening. It's something that we have integrated in our youth system is players, we don't just place them in an age group because they're 14, 16, 18. Um, if we have a 16-year-old that excels at a U18 level, 
we're going to place them with the U18 team because the most important thing is that we're able to put them in the right situation for their development and we're able to push them and bring the most out of their potential. Um, so same thing with the men's team and we're already starting to do it. I think you know, from the U19 team we probably have eight or nine players that are already out training with the men's team. Um, and you know the guys who aren't looking to pursue college and you know they've kind of made their focus on pursuing the professional thing they're already being integrated and uh, you know pursuing the pro, pro team so I mean we directly integrate it within the entire organization okay, good. so um, moving forward what is your uh, your vision for the team um, IFK Maryland professional team and um, you know the league the ASL league as well what, what do you see in the future, what's your vision moving forward from this point on? The, the big one is to start off is to make sure that in the future our players, our, our youth programs, the players that are feeding into that program. Um, like we said, uh, um, you know, right now that's, you know, that's going to take time and you know, we just started our organization about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, so it takes players developing. but. Uh, you know, the, the future is endless. I mean, it's really whatever the players that continue to um, join our program and their ambitions, you know, um, for the club. Um, one big thing that we like, you know, is big for the ASL team is we're bringing in ambitious players who love the game, which only is going to help my program grow even more because we are now integrating those players into the coaching system to help the youth ranks. As long as, as, long as that continues to happen, um, and we continue to get these players the training. Um, that's what we take pride in the greatest. I mean, that's you could say the, what, what's the best thing about IFK? I would directly go to the training. I think our training's uh, just top notch and, and and it's big. So as long as that happens, our ambitions are you know, whatever the highest level possible. Um, our ambitions are, you know, the, with the connection in Sweden, is to be pushing players not only to the third or fourth divisions, but maybe the Alveshkin, the Superatons. I mean, our ambitions are really whatever our player pool can take it to. Okay, great. So speaking of the play, your player pool, um, it being a young organization, what are some, who are some key players that you have or, um, and, and key executives in the program right now? Um, if you go to the player pool, um, key players that we have is, you know, and like I said, is the big goal is um, is bringing good players in to go and coach. Well, we have, you know, six or seven coaches right now who, you know, I think have developed as players through their coaching ability. You know, you got Coach Karma Bole, um, strong guy, can move the ball really well. Communication-wise, he demands excellence out of his players, so that's going to be huge huge for the younger guys coming in, just the demand, but at the same time he's not you know, afraid to pull him to the side. We got Devin Jackson who can play you know, out wide or up top, big strong boy, athletic, um, and he's, you know, same thing, Devin's, Devin's game is just at the beginning. Um, you know, it's, uh, he continues to develop every day and he's um, developing attributes um, you know, in every position, so he, he could be a big force for us out wide and you know, if he can you know, finish some goals for us, he could be a, a big help up top. Um, Corey Childs, we just brought in a player that I actually grew up with, um, similar to Carmo, but um, he, uh, Corey is a, you know, hard worker. He's one of them coaches, he's, you know, it's infectious. Um, everything he looks to do on the field is, um, he wants it to be perfect and he demands that of his team. And Corey's developed already because of it. We. At our first exhibition last week against Philly, and uh, you know, for Corey, this will be his first professional opportunity, um, and he, if anything, stood past some of them guys. So, um, you know, those uh, those three guys, and then I, I, I take some pride in myself. Um, hopefully, that you know, with my experience over, you know, in Sweden, um, hopefully, that, you know, I'm, I'm really, you know, pushing. To uh, to be a part of this club and play in this club and um, you know push my 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 level to the next level and, and there's a bunch of other guys within this organization um, that uh, you know I think really um, the key is is if they like I said our training if they stick to the training if they they, they commit to the training the development will happen we train 
five days a week, fitness coach, technical coach, you know, goalkeeper coach. I mean, everything that we're doing, if they can really commit to it, the level our players go to is, is, is infinite. Awesome. So, um, is, there, uh, is there anything else um, you, you'd have to say, anything else people can look forward to, uh, and, and else people can keep an eye out for, um, you know, coming up soon? Um, we'll, we'll have uh, the games out soon. Um, we, we just set up some exhibitions against Lancaster, um, Delaware, and then we are traveling to Philly this Sunday. Hopefully the hurricane um, holds up a little bit, but if not, we'll push that to another date. Um, and we'll have a flyer out for those dates uh, to you as soon as possible. All right. Um, thank you very much, Coach Saul, and we'll be keeping an eye out for all the good things happening.